There's a major development now on driving ISIS out of Syria. The Trump administration getting ready, remember, to pull U.S. troops out of that country. Fox News was embedded with the Syrian Kurds in what is considered the last ISIS-held village. Benjamin Hall getting the exclusive frontline access, and he joins us live now from inside Syria. What did you learn, Ben? Bill, this is deep in the south of Syria, very hard to get to. And what we saw was the very last stand of the caliphate. And the SDF forces that we were with said that they were just days away from victory, days before they saw the end of the caliphate. On the front lines, the devastation is almost total. ISIS had years to dig into this territory, covering it with tunnels and booby traps. Thousands of Kurdish troops have been killed there. But without U.S. support, it would surely have taken far longer and been far more bloody. And U.S. forces are seen constantly here. You see them by the front lines, in forward bases, on rooftops, moving around. President Trump told the military to take the gloves off against ISIS. And you can see here, that's exactly what they did. ISIS had years to dig into this city, crisscrossing it with tunnels and planting IEDs. As such, the battle was incredibly destructive. Most buildings are either flattened or have the marks of war. It took about a month to liberate Hajin, but the battle is still raging about 10 miles behind me. The SDF believe that there are about 1,500 to 2,000 battle-hardened ISIS fighters left in this pocket of about one square mile of land, and they have nowhere to go. This might be a territorial victory against the terror group, but people warn they are still strong. And the Kurds fear that decision by President Trump to pull out U.S. troops. They say that Turkey will surely come down to attack them. And they also urge the president not to make the same mistake as Obama did in Iraq by leaving early before the job was done and handing that country over to Iran. They fear the same thing could happen here. Well, Bill? Fascinating to watch. Benjamin Hall, thank you. Inside of Syria with that exclusive...